Self-Portrait, 1928. Oil on Canvas, a size 6 canvas. After the Renaissance, many Western painters, besides religious paintings, like to draw self-portraits. Among them, the most famous were Da Vinci, Michelangelo, Raphael, and Durer. Each one of them used different angles to convey their unique emotion and personality. For the purpose of self-expression, the facial expressions in their own portraits looked rather serious and even a bit conceited. Having been influenced by those great painters, Ten Tung Po had also painted quite a few self-portraits. In this painting, we can't help but to be attracted by his sharp-looking eyes, which accurately pointed to a persistent and challenging mind, as was evident throughout his artistic career. Chen showed us what was on his mind in the same way that Vincent van Gogh had done, through his own persevering expression and penetrating eyes. The hat he routinely wore showed that he had regularly sketched outside under a bright sunshine. The background patterns may be that of either sunflowers, which usually symbolized Van Gogh, or as was common, a Japanese chrysanthemum, which provided background and gave the portrait contrast. This is obviously a piece of work done by Chen during his study at Tokyo Fine Arts College. Since drawing self-portraits had always been a part of the required coursework there. Between 1928 and 1946, Ten Tenpo had painted nine pieces of work entitled Jai Park. All nine pieces were displayed on March 25, 2001 at the park itself, which attracted a large number of devoted followers of Chen's work. Jai Park was founded in 1910 and recently celebrated its centennial. After several expansions, as well as the combining with the Botanical Garden, its total area is now approximately 360,000 square meters. It functions as a place for recreation and sport, as well as a popular scenic location. The Japanese temple was turned into the Sun Shooting Tower, which stands 62 meters high and is a chief landmark of Jai City.